and welcome to another flipped classroom tutorial and this time it is all about more Google Docs basics so go ahead and open a new Google document and we are going to have a look at three very useful tools so within your tool menu you will find voice typing research and the translation function. Now these three are very useful in classes so let's start with our first function which is voice typing. So go ahead and select voice typing this will have a little microphone on the side you can click on that microphone click to speak and you will have to give Chrome permission to use your microphone which I am now going to do. Allow this is to demonstrate the use of voice typing within a Google document, full stop. As you can see, this is a very, very useful function, especially when you're trying to type faster, when you're taking notes during a meeting, or sometimes you just have children who struggle with typing and need to quickly get their thoughts onto a Google document, so feel free to use this you will have noticed that at the end of my sentence I said full stop and that is how this will work so I'll just demonstrate that now this is a sentence comma and this is the end of a sentence full stop so as you can see I can say this is a sentence comma and this is the end of a sentence full stop so you do have to say the punctuation you would like to use within your Google document now the second tool I wanted to demonstrate is the translate. So I'm going to go ahead and click on translate document and I'm going to translate this into let's say Dutch. Translate. Now what this does is it creates a second document in your different language. Now as you can see this has been translated into Dutch. Dit is het gebruik van een spraakgestuurd typen and as I speak Dutch too, I can say that this is fairly accurate. Now obviously this won't work for every language, but it is a great way to start. The third function is another very useful function for students and especially within research projects. So go ahead and click on Tools, Research. Now what this does is it opens a Google search within your document so you no longer have to leave your document. Now let's say that you're doing a research project on endangered animals and you would like to have some images of tigers. Go ahead, click on images and type in tiger. This presents you with lots of wonderful images. Now the same goes for information, articles, quotes. And let's say I want to use this one. I can now click, drag and drop this into my document. Not only will this insert the image into my document, you can see there is a little footnote and that footnote refers to my source. Another great skill for our students as we are teaching them about digital citizenship, citing your sources is very important. So let's go ahead and find some quotes on tigers. Now let's say I want to insert this quote, I simply click on insert and again my quote is right here the person who said it and there is a second footnote again citing my source so just to sum this up three very powerful tools voice typing research tool and translating your document I hope this was helpful as always if you want more videos check out my channel subscribe give it a thumbs up or simply come back at a later time Thank you for watching.